Let's make one more exercise in Autodesk Fusion. In this video, you'll learn how to use the extrude, mirror, emboss, and joint. So open your Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this part, we'll select the front plane and make this sketch here. Here will be the midpoint and the first thing that we'll make, we'll create this circle here with 6 millimeters of geometer and create this arc here with 6 millimeters of radius, okay? So we'll open the fusion, go to create a sketch and select the front plane. Select a circle, click make a circle here with 6 millimeters of geometer. And go to create, select arc, center point arc, click here in the midpoint, make an arc here with 6 millimeters of radius. And go to constraint, select horizontal vertical, select this point and the midpoint here. Okay. Now let's create this line here. Make this line with 26 millimeters of length and make this line here. And the distance between this point here and the midpoint is 43 millimeters. So select a line, make a line here with 26 millimeters. And make another line here and go to sketch mention. The distance between this line here and the midpoint is 43 millimeters, okay? Let me move this a little bit. Okay, now let's create this arc here. This arc has 33 millimeters of radius and it is tangent with this arc here. And the distance between this arc and this line is 23 millimeters, okay? So go to create, select the arc, three point arc, select this point and this point here, make an arc here. Make sure that this arc is tangent with this one. Go to sketch dimension. The radius here is 33 millimeters. And the distance between this arc and this line is 23 millimeters. But how the fusion take this dimension? It will be 10 millimeters, okay? Now we have to make this line here and this arc. The distance between this arc and this one is five millimeters and it is concentric. So go to create, select the arc, center point arc, click here in this point, make an arc here. Sorry. Center point arc, click here in this point, make an arc here and make a line here. This line must be horizontal line. Go to sketch dimension. The distance here is five millimeters. And the distance between this line here and the midpoint is 19 millimeters, okay? This line here and the midpoint. Now finish the sketch. We need to extrude this. And the first part that we extrude will be this area here. So go to extrude. We need to extrude this area here, eight millimeters, okay? The distance here between these two line. So the direction will be symmetric, measurement holy length and the distance eight millimeters. Operation new body press okay. So they sketch one again. Now we need to extrude all this profile and from this point to this point here, it has four millimeters, okay? Four millimeters in this side and four millimeters in this side. So the distance between this point and the center is four millimeters. It will be the offset. So let's make this. Go to extrude, select all this profile. The start, select offset. The offset here, four millimeters. And the distance, four millimeters. Operation join, press OK. Hide the sketch one. Go to create and select mirror. The object here, select the features and the object, select the last extrude. And the mirror plane, select the front plane. 
and press OK. We made this, OK. Now let's make this number one here. So here, go to create a sketch, select this face. Go to create and select text. Make a rectangle here. And put zero one here. Press OK. Finish the sketch. Go to create and select emboss. The sketch profile, select the zero one, the face, select this face. The deep here, 0 0.4 millimeters and effect selected the boss and press OK. We made this. Now click with the right button here and create a component from this body. We have this body here, this component. We made this, OK. Now let's create the part two. And the first thing that we make here, we make this cylinder here, 16 millimeters by 5.5 millimeters. So go to create and select the front plane, hide this component and select the circle, make a circle here with 5.5, finish the sketch. Now go to extrude, select this profile, the direction, select symmetric, measurement, holy length, and the distance, 16 millimeters. Operation new body, press OK. We made this. Now we need to create this profile here in the front plane. And the first thing that we make here, we will create this arc with five millimeters of radius and create a line here and this line and close the sketch here. This line here has 15 millimeters. So go to create, select the front plane. Go to create again, select the project, include the project, select this space, press OK. We can hide the body tool here. Go to create, select the arc, center point arc, click here in the midpoint, five millimeters of radius. Make an arc here. Select a line, make a line here with 15 millimeters and close the sketch here, okay? Go to constraints and select horizontal vertical, select this line, select this point and this point here, okay? Now let's create this line and this arc this line has four millimeters and the radius here is four millimeters so select the line make a line here four millimeters make an arc here and another line here let me see I'm, i made it two lines here sorry okay go to sketch dimension the radius here four millimeters Go to constraint, select horizontal vertical, select this point and this point here. Okay, finish the sketch. We need to extrude this. To extrude this letter B, this area, this area here, 7.5 millimeters. So the body tool, go to extrude, select this area here, the distance. 7.5 millimeters, the direction here is symmetric, and measurement holy length. Operation join and press OK. Show the sketch for again, go to extrude. We needed to extrude this area here, six millimeters, okay? So select this profile, the direction symmetric, measurement holy length, and the distance six millimeters. Operation join and press OK. Hide the sketch for. Now, here in the body tool, click with the right button and create a component from this body. So the component one, we have this. Now go to assembly, select the joint, select the space here, the center of this face and select this circle here. The motion here, select the revolute. 
you can add the, the minimum and maximum here move this a little bit here let me make a play here and you can move here the maximum and the minimum okay and here we finish your exercise so thanks for watching subscribe my channel for more and see you in the next videos bye bye